Hello guys, here I have HTC Desire 320. It, it's in boot loop and it's gonna cycle that logo and never start properly. So I will show you how you can try to fix it. So we have here the application code SP Flash Tool and exactly pay attention please to the version it's the only version people say it's gonna work for this phone the version as you can see 5.1348.01 and here sec because that phone has secured boot or something and you will need to use only that version also i installed these drivers before maybe it needed maybe not so just in case and the main problem for me was to figure out how to make font visible for this flash tool now I'm starting it you can get that message it doesn't matter we do ok also Getting back to that folder I showed you. You will need to download the ROM or firmware for this model. So I found two on the internet. One says version what? Here you can read this HTC Europe and it will work for phones from Europe. And this one is for Canada. In my phone is Canadian one for carrier telos you can see it here it's important to flash the ROM for your region otherwise you will get the problem and I can show you I have another phone I have two actually broken so and you can see at the top it says CID TELUS 001 this is what phone expects to have and the firmware I flashed it was Europe one I saw you before show you before so and the phone expects those below HTC 001 etc this is a CID it uh, refers to cellular identifier and it's important it should match okay so to the second my phone here I will flash TELUS version and I hope it will work so first of all I pull the battery out and I plug the micro USB cable which is already connected so I suggest you to install driver first so you see I put the battery back let's leave it like that so going back um, here I extracted the Telos firmware it's here and you will need that file scatter so going back to my flash tool it will open on the tab download you can choose different tabs here so we need to you choose scatter loading file here pressing on this button okay so now it's asking me for the path where is my scatter file so this is the telos firmware and this is a scatter file you see the extension is txt so i press on it and if you load the firmware based on that txt file it has the information from Uh, 
Okay, it's loaded. Now we have two things to consider. This. It says download agent. People said it's very important to have this one, which you see on the screen, daswsec.bin. So it, it went by default with this version of software as smartphone flash tool. And again, we are looking for I'm just checking what's that. Ah, okay, the version, you can see it here. As I showed you before, it has underscore sec. So probably it refers to that thing. And it should be there. Next thing, again, people suggested to uncheck that thing, preloader. In my case, in mean, my first phone I tried to fix, I did that as well. So now, I will press download button here. Now I'm pressing on download button here. And nothing seems to be happening. So I will pull out the battery. And it gives me an error. So guys, now I'm trying to load the scatter file and after that I will try to flash it. Gave me problem before, didn't work from the first time. So we have here checked preloader and uh, I will press download button. Uh, now the phone has a battery inside and it's uh, plug to the computer and uh, I don't see it working it's not flashing anything I will remove the battery let's see maybe this will help doesn't make any difference I have battery in my hand and I don't see the process started. I just rebooted the PC, hoping it will help. So now I uncheck preloader here and press download again. It doesn't look like anything is happening. Okay, now you see the red. And it started, I believe, to flash. You see here it shows the speed of transfer. And you see megabytes are going up. So you see the phone is here. I tried before, like uh, five minutes ago, it didn't work. So I restarted the computer. I put the battery into the phone. The phone was off. And I plugged it to, to PC, so it was kind of charging. You show you saw it before. So we've checked preloader; it didn't start and, and give me an error, as you saw before. Second attempt was I uncheck preloader, press download with battery removed, and after um, like. 15 20 seconds it started to flash so it could work maybe not it depends from your luck so now we will wait until it will finish the flashing i'm flashing now the telos firmware for the telos phone and uh, we will see at the end what will happen Okay, so at the end of flashing you will see that picture, it says download OK. 
So now we are getting back to the phone, plugging it back, putting the battery, I mean, starting it. So it will take up to five minutes to settle down the firmware and start it properly. So I will just put on the pause and get back once it will ready to show you something. So this is what I got. The it's flashed. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. Skip anyway. So everything seems to be fine. Android version is C44.2. It doesn't say anything about CID anymore. And it means what it has the right version of firmware. So good luck guys. If you like this video, press on like and share with your friends. Thank you. Well guys, uh, I just wanted to tell you what I'm flashing now, the second phone, and uh, uh, it took like 30 minutes me to me to catch that moment to start with flashing. I'm flashing it now without the battery as before, and you have like maybe half of a second to catch that moment when uh, device is connected in the... I can show you maybe here, it's still here, no? You will see a device here under the COM and uh, LTP, LPT um, uh, ports and it's called MTK Preloader something and it appears here just for one second and a half and after it disappears so how i managed to catch this up i pressed on download it given me error i press ok download again given me error again until it appeared here as a device mediatek preloader and i press download again and it uh, started to load so now i'm putting the back battery and we will see now we can see one this this one is working now and another one is loading i hope this one will be fixed as well Okay, as you can see, the second device is also good now. Uh, what we do here? Skip. Skip. Honestly, I was giving up on this device because I was thinking I, I never can make it. I was thinking it the memory maybe was uh, corrupted or something like that and as you can see this device is also working so here i go so i wish you patience and uh, good luck guys and see the description for some useful links and more information i will put there so enjoy thank you